What's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. Your boy, JP. Today, we got a little radio review for y'all. This is the Pioneer AVH 2550 NEX radio. And we're going to be diving into this thing in just a second. So, uh, if you want to learn about more about this little radio, man, please continue to watch. First thing first, what comes inside the box? We got the radio, Bluetooth, microphone, a little extension for your USB that plugs into the back. Remote, you got some screws, a harness, of course, and, of course, we got the manual. We're going to skip all of this part and we're going to go ahead and wire this thing up and then uh so you guys can see what it looks like and all that good stuff all right so first thing you see right out the jump is going to be this fan this fan is just basically to cool down the radio uh going from left to right i guess this little one right here this is for your bluetooth microphone this is where you would plug that in this is a pioneer radio so any type of steering wheel control module is going to have that 3.5 millimeter jack you're going to stick that right there it's etched at the bottom wr just basically stands for your uh wired remote uh this right here is your usb Here's your auxiliary. You can run that from the back, both of those at the same time. Now, this one right here, this is the IdataLink plug. So this is Maestro ready. So if you guys have the Maestro RR, you want to gain some little extra features. Uh, we'll talk about those a little bit later, but this is where you'll plug that in. This radio is also Sirius XM ready. So if you have the V300, you'll be able to plug that in into the back right there. That's where your main harness is going to go it's for your power supply. So, that's, <clears throat> excuse me. That's what we'll plug in to actually power up the radio. All right, let me just turn my light on so you guys can see that better. So yeah, these right here, these are your three RCA jacks. They're gonna be for your front, rear, and sub. Now, these three RCA jacks are four volts, if I'm not mistaken, so it's pretty good coming out the back of this radio. Now, these over here is for your video in. You have a video in and then a left and right in if you want to go into the radio also it says fc fc stands for front camera so if you want to hook up a front camera this is the one that you would use now rcn stands for rear camera so when you actually put your car in reverse you want to put your backup camera uh, or, uh, video rca in this one right here and that's what shows on that monitor and then you also have a video out this right here is where you plug in your antenna, and that yellow plug right there is for your navigation system. So this thing is navigation ready. Uh, you will have to go to the dealer to get that plug and that module, but you can plug that in right there. Now let's turn this thing on and, and see what it looks like. All right, so as soon as it comes on, of course you're gonna get that uh, select the language. I'm gonna press English, and then uh, we're just gonna go to standard mode and we wanna click this. Usually you will always see this is to let you guys know, hey, you're not supposed to be driving and looking at movies at the same time. So of course, right out the gate, um, you, I want you guys to notice the 6.8 inch screen. Now, they have a 1550 and this is the 2550 that we're going over. The big difference in the two, the 1550 is a 6.2 inch screen and it only has Apple CarPlay only. The 2550 is a 6.8 inch screen, so you're gonna get a wider screen and it's Apple CarPlay and Android Auto uh, compatibles. All right, y'all, so let's get into this thing, man. So let's go up here and let's press this uh, settings button. Now, of course, you have your top uh, favorites. We don't have anything registered because we're just going through this thing. Right here, this is where all of your regular settings are gonna be, uh, basic uh, system settings. Camera settings is where you're turning on or off, turn the demo on or off, select the language if you didn't do it in the beginning. And also, if you go all the way down, you'll see these uh, system information. That's where you'll know if you have the most updated, uh, what you call it, the most updated firmware. You go there. Uh, the little paint stick thing, this is where you change your illumination. So let's just say that your favorite color is green. We'll click green and that changed the key color to green. Then we go to theme and go over here and it changed the background and all these buttons to green. And then we can go to background and just change it to something green. Now, the good thing about this is that these are all the same background. So if you just want to change the color to red, then it'll change the key color to red. Go to theme, change that to more red-ish, and then your background automatically goes to that as well. So uh, it's really good as far as like customizable. So when you go down here to audio settings, uh, you'll see that everything is highlighted. Uh-oh. Oh, oh yeah, this is one more thing. If you want to save any one of your settings in your favorites, go here and then press the little star. That way when you go there, you'll see that it's saved. We don't actually care about those, but 
Now, this is one of the biggest things I know a lot of people like about radios is the audio settings. So you can press this number one to go to your graphic EQ. Also, notice that you can always come here on the front screen where you're listening to whatever, whatever source you're on. You can click that and then press one of those and it brings you to the settings and then you can get out of it, go back into it, and then it brings you to these. Of course, you got your fade, your balance, turn your sub on or off. Right here, you can go to your speaker level and you can actually adjust the different DBs per speaker that's inside the car. Also with the sub levels, once we, well, let's go back and let's actually turn the sub on. Then let's go down to speaker level and then now you can see that you can adjust the gain of that one. Also, you can adjust your listening position to where it's just the driver just the uh, front passenger and you see since it's all going to the front passenger these dbs have already been adjusted to where the most gain is going to come up here it's more for your time alignment and all that type of stuff we also have if we go down all right let's listen in position that's the thing that we were just in and you can turn time alignment on or off all right so let's talk about time alignment for just a second for those who don't know what time alignment is uh what you want what this is basically used for is for your imaging and or staging a lot of sq people know about this basically where you sit you are a certain distance from each speaker so you're closest to the driver front speaker furthest away from the passenger rear speaker and the sub will be furthest away as well but um what will happen is is that if you want to turn the time alignment on what these will end up doing is you'll actually start delaying certain times where the music will hit wherever you want it to go so it hits you all at once now this is not good for everybody else in the car so when you have the time alignment on it's only going to sound good for the person who's driving because that's who we have it basically set for so when we turn time alignment on it's gonna automatically have some numbers in there. Now, you can do your own measurements. You'll just take like a ruler or a measuring tape and you measure how the distance from you to this side and then you will go in and change it. Say we're 65 inches away from the front speaker. We're 56 far, uh, you know what I'm saying, inches away from from the rear whatever the case is and then it'll automatically make it to where everything is time to hit you all at the same time like i said it will sound perfect from this seat but everywhere else is going to be kind of off uh, i usually turn it off go to listening position and just turn it to all so everybody in the car is pretty much just enjoying the, the basic of the music uh, your different DVD setup settings will be in here and Bluetooth settings at the bottom where you want to clear all the codes, um, not clear the codes, but clear out all other phones that may be paired up to it. Go right there, down there, the Bluetooth memory clear. Other than that, as long as these things are on as far as visibility and auto connect, you should be able to pair up to it. You'll just look for the AVH2550 and you should be able to do that. Now, that little arrow right here, this is gonna take you to your quick drop, your quick menus, kinda of like pressing the source button. And you can just go straight to your source, which we'll is click on radio, just to see what that looks like. You'll go through each individual um, station, forward and backwards like that, or you can press and hold, and then it'll scan to the next radio station. We don't have an antenna in, so it's probably not gonna pick up anything, but that's how you would do that. If you wanna save this radio station and one of your presets, you will just press and hold, when you're inside the car, then you'll hear a little beep, but it will go from white to whatever color that you have saved in your illumination. So that's kind of like a reddish pinkish color. And then if you press this, that will make sure that you know that it is saved at the top. So um, if you want to change the date and time, all you have to do is tap it right here at the top and then you can change it. It is not January the 1st, 2019. It is February the 5th 2020 and we can set our date i will set our time there as well also for all you military folks you can use a 24 hour clock for military time and then you'll see that it's already adjusted there anytime you press that gear it's going to take us directly to the settings um, also you can press our eq button it's going to take you directly to the equalizer this thing does have a 13 band eq right here at the bottom you will see all of your uh, presets uh, super bass powerful natural vocal and flat 
flat is going to give you just a basic flat response now if you want to sit in your car and kind of fine tune your music yourself then you have two custom settings to where you can really get into it and change the settings yourself some people like a whole lot more bass whatever the case is so they'll turn that up but you have those things saved for you boom so now my custom setting is saved right there all right, so now that we're done with that, we're gonna hit this menu and we're gonna talk about this screen just a tad bit. So when you guys plug in your phone, this is where your Android Auto or Apple CarPlay is gonna pop up. Actually, it's gonna pop up right here at the top, but it will recognize that there's a phone and it'll say iPhone or Galaxy or whatever the case is. And then your Android Auto or Apple CarPlay will pop up right there. Um, this right here is the uh, telephone. So you click that phone, it's gonna take you to Pioneer's version of their Bluetooth interface. The bottom is gonna be like the, not necessarily the Google Assist, but if you just wanna do like the voice command calling, pressing that button right there. When it's highlighted, you'll be able to dial calls from the radio. This will show all ingoing, outgoing, and missed calls. There's your phone book and you have some favorites. So when you plug your phone in this will not transfer favorites from your phone if you already have them but you can save your personal favorites in right here now go back to the home menu real quick so you'll see this automatically has your radio um cd player bluetooth music for actually scanning yeah so it has your bluetooth music for uh streaming your uh music Spotify Pandora, but when you press AV, AV is gonna bring out pretty much all the other uh, functions that this radio has. Now, when I told you it is Sirius XM ready, so when you, plug in, when you plug in that V300 in the back, that will illuminate. When you plug in your USB, this one will illuminate. Now, audio video, that's if you want to uh, actually go into the radio as far as like sharing something from a different source and you will also press that if you have a front camera when you press rear camera view this is gonna when you press camera view it's gonna automatically go to your rear camera now car sources and car features you remember that maestro that we were talking about when you actually hook up the maestro rr or in that idata link port in the back then these are some features that come up so we can't click them right now because we don't have the Maestro RR hooked up, but wherever your car features usually has, it does it does it will be retained with these two. So uh, let's just say that you can control your AC through your radio from the factory, or you can uh, do like the heated seats or the parking assist or anything like that. Look at the tire pressure. This will that will be under car features, and you will be able to basically mimic what the factory does but in pioneer's way of showing you that so other than that that's pretty much it as far as this radio goes uh it's a really good unit i will have links for the 1550 and the 2550 down in the description if you guys if you guys found any kind of value in this video please hit that like button don't forget to subscribe share comment all that good stuff until the next time this is your boy jp signing out